hi everyone here is gringo and today new video guys so if you enjoyed the video put some like and subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my channel there is paypal in the description so guys today i will talk about myself you know why i not uh, give uh, a fuck about relation relationship or even like uh, when i'm re in a relationship i really not give too much of fuck about that i'm not getting crazy and i will explain you why guys you know so even my one uh, <laughs> my ex girlfriend she told me like a gringo okay we we'll call call me like gringo and she told me you your heart is like a rock you know she told me you you have very strong heart because guy uh, I don't play this shit gaming you know like a relationship crying for girlfriend like get mad about girl girlfriend like girlfriend come to talk oh. Why you talk about this lady or why you talk about this? Oh, you know, this is a bullshit thing, you know, like fucking a kid, like you have 15 years or 14 years, you know. I really not give a fuck, you know. My ass girlfriend, I say, don't fucking bother me about this shit, you know. If you're not happy with me, if you think I shit on you, just go. Guy, I'm a really simple guy, okay. Uh, I don't need to shit on a girlfriend, guys, okay. Because if I want to shit on girlfriend, it's better I stay single so I can fuck around, you know. I have no time to about this this bullshit thing, you know. So, really, guys, uh, my mind really changed, you know. It really changed since uh, 2013. So, it was the first time I go to Cambodia, you know. Uh, so, before I, I live in France, I was living in another country and I moved in France when I'm 17. So even when I was live in my, uh, we can say my original country, we had a civil war, you know. But uh, the city I was living, uh, it was fine, you know. We don't have a lot of uh, uh, like attack from terrorists, you know. Uh, but um, and my country was not rich country and not so poor country, okay. But it was like, okay, so so we we had enough for food, you know, for where to sleep. Then I moved to France, and then when I go to France, work, you know, I can make money and travel. So when the first time I go to, to Cambodia, really my mind is fucking like, wow. Guys, you know, when you never see in a real, maybe you can see in uh, on YouTube or on a TV, but when you see in a real by yourself, really your mind is changed about this bullshit relationship. This uh, like uh, you can see some people from Western country, they get like uh, crazy when they break up, when they broken, they say like a broken heart. This is really bullshit for me. So guy, I was in uh, Cambodia. I go first time in, in the city of Phnom Penh. And even in Phnom Penh, there is like many homeless kid. They try to find uh, the food in the bin and they sleep on, uh, like even on the road, you know, it's like really, you can say it's a broken heart, you know, you see that. And uh, what makes me change really my mind about this shit, why it's, I not give a fuck too much about uh, the bullshit, like people talk, you know, I not give a lot of important, because one day I was in... Uh, if you know guys about Phnom Penh, in the Riverside, it's very popular because there is a lot of uh, foreigners stay there. There is like a bar, there is a hooker, you know. And uh, I was sitting there and uh, in a restaurant I was eating. And like uh, I order food and I order a drink, small bottle of water. And often you see like uh, the kid come there asking a money, you know, try to sell for you something. And I uh, had one uh, kid about like uh, 15 or 16 years, you know, and he he stayed like front of a restaurant and he was, uh, look at me, you know, then I was eating. It's it's really hard, you know, like to, to eat and uh, to drink and you see the kid look at you like this, you know. So I was eating and drink, drink my bottle of water and still have a little bit in a bottle of water, you know. So the kid looked at me since long time, you know, like, uh, like 10 minutes, you know, he looked at me. And then he tell me, sorry, they can't speak English, you know. If you come to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, you know, the kid, even they are, they are really like uh, 10 years, they can speak English. 
And he tell me, hey, sir, uh, please, uh, can I ask you something? I say, yes. I say, uh, he, he tell me, uh, uh, do you will finish your uh, water or you will throw your water, your bottle of water? I say, no, I, I finish already. He tell me, sir, can I have it? I say, yes, you can take it. And he drink it, guys. And then I ask him, ask him, what happened? He t I tell him, you not you not drink uh, today or what? Uh, he tell me, yes, yeah, sir, since yesterday I didn't drink and I didn't eat. This is really changed my mind, you know. Really changed my mind, you know. I, I buy for him another bottle of water and pay for him some some food, you know. It's really crazy, guys, you know, when you don't know how you're lucky, you can buy the food. You can have the place where to sleep, you know. This really, how to tell you. You know, when I have this, this kid, you know, when he tell me about that, maybe you can say, guys, maybe he he lying. Guy, I, I saw him sleep on the road, you know. I see him like two days later, you know, when I, I walk around uh, Phnom Penh, I see him sleeping or in the street, you know, and uh, try to find the food in the bin. It's really make me change my mind, you know, and how lucky I am. For that, I really don't give a fuck too much about the people when they talk on internet, because guys, you know, when you are in a trouble in real life, you can go ask only help from, I can't, oh, Often I say your visa card, you know. Nobody will help you in real life. You can help only yourself. So this is bullshit about uh, relationship, broken heart. Don't be like sensitive like, like this, guys. You know, feel lucky. You have a hand, you have legs. You have place to, to sleep. You have food enough to eat, you know. Many people forget about that. But guys, if you are lucky one day, you can travel in some country, like poor country, you know, I go to to Cambodia, I didn't know it's poor like that, you know, I, I really didn't know it was poor like that, and fucking like blow my mind, I tell you guys, it's really blow my mind, make me fucking like, uh, when the, the, the people, even like on, on YouTube, they talk like shit, like they, they try to tell you how to do her, huh? I really don't give a fuck, you know, I really don't give a fuck, because in real life, it's fucking hard, you know, it's really, really hard. So, so for that guy, you know, I not give fuck too much because I feel lucky to live in a country where I'm happy and I have enough for buy my food, you know. Maybe for you it's normal, but for some people it's like too much, you know. Like this kid, I see him, or even if you go to a Phnom Penh, you will see a lot of kids try to find the food in a bin. So, guy, okay, I hope you enjoy the videos, like call it like Gringo, Gringo story. Uh, don't be like sensitive guy, like you get crazy about uh, about girlfriend, she break up with you. Don't be this this sensitive guy. You know the heart, the life is really hard. You know it's really hard, and just feel feel lucky. You you have the place to sleep, the food you have, uh, the work you have, living in a rich country. You know, so guy, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you soon.